I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Solving Systems of Equations. In this video, we will discuss how to convert a rational set of equations into linear equations and then solve. So here is one of the examples. You can always pause the video, copy the question, solve. So we have a system of equation which includes these two equations. 5 over x minus 1 plus 1 over y minus 2 equals to 2 and 6 over x minus 1 minus 3 over y minus 2 equals to 1. Of course, in this case, we'll have a restriction that x is not equal to 1 and y is not equal to 2. Right? Since that makes the denominator 0 and the expression becomes undefined. Now we have a very similar example which we'll do first and then take up this one. So let us see how to solve a simpler question and then we'll take up our first question. We need to solve for x and y when 1 over x minus 4 over y equals to 2 and 1 over x plus 3 over y equals to 9. Now in this particular system of equations we can substitute 1 over x equals to a and 1 over y as equal to b. In that case, we'll get a system of equation which is linear. So let's do this substitution. If I replace 1 over x with a, the first equation becomes a minus, second equation becomes 1 over y as b means 4b, right? So it becomes 4b equals to 2. Putting the same substitution in the second equation, we get that as a plus 3b equals to 9. So now we get a linear system of equations. Do you see that? Right? Now this linear system of equation can be easily solved. We can take away one equation from the other. So a and a will cancel. 4b minus 3b gives us minus 7b equals to 2 minus 9 which is minus 7 or we get b equals to minus 7 divided by minus 7 which is plus 1. So once we get the value of b we can always find the value of a by substituting it back into one of our equations. So we get b as equal to 1 and we'll substitute that in the very first equation which is a minus 4b equals to 2. Replacing b with 1, we get a minus 4 times 1 equals to 2. a minus 4 equals to 2. Or a equals to 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6. So we get the value of a as 6. Once we have a and b, we can find x and y, right? So substituting it back, we know 1 over x is equal to a. So that means 1 over x is equal to 6 or x is equal to 1 over 6. 1 over y is equal to b. So we get 1 over y equals to 1 or y equals to 1. And therefore our answer here is 1 over 6, 1. That becomes the coordinate point as an intersection of these two curves, right? Which are not linear. But you can see what this strategy, we made them linear and then solved like a linear system of equations. Is that clear to you? Right. Now, I would like you to apply this strategy and solve our first question. Perfect. You can actually pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Right. So here again, we'll make the substitution. Let 1 over x minus 1 be equal to a and 1 over y minus 2 equals to b. Once we make this substitution, we get these equations as 5a plus b, right, equals to 2. The second equation becomes 6a minus 3b equals to 1. So we get a new system of equation which is the equivalent system. Of course, x cannot be 1 and y cannot be 2. Okay, 
Now to solve this, what we could do is, we could multiply the first equation by 3, right? So if we do that, then the system becomes, let's rewrite this system of equation, 5 times 3 is 15, so we get 15a plus 3b equals to 6, leaving the second one as such, 6a minus 3b equals to 1. Now to solve this, we can actually just add them up. So if I add them up, what do I get? So adding these equations, we get 15a plus 6a as 21. So we get 21a and plus and minus 3b is 0 equals to 6 plus 1 as 7. So we get the value of a as 7 over 21, which is 1 over 3, right? Substituting the value of a in one of our equations, we can calculate what b is. So now, I will substitute this value of a, which is 1 over 3, into this second equation, since we'll get rid of fractions, right? 6 is a multiple of 3. So I'm going to sub a equals to 1 over 3 in the equation 6a minus 3b equals to 1. So when I write a as 3, 1 over 3, I get 6 times 1 over 3 minus 3b equals to 1. Now that is 2 minus 3b equals to 1 or we could write this as 2 minus 1 equals to 3b, right? So which is equal to 1 or we can write here that 1 over 3 is equal to b, right? So we get the value of b as also 1 over 3. Once we have the value of a and b, we can find the value of x and y, correct? So reversing the substitution, b is 1 over 3. So we know 1 over 3 is equal to 1 over y minus 2, right? 1 over y minus 2. Cross multiply, we get y minus 2 equals to 3, or y is equal to 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5. So we get value of y as 5. On the other hand, we'll substitute the value of a, which is 1 over 3, as equal to 1 over x minus 1. Cross multiply, we get x minus 1 equals to 3, or x is equal to 3 plus 1, which is 4, right? So we get both x and y values. Our solution now is the coordinate point 4 and 5, okay? The x value of 4, y value of 5. So that gives you the solution to the given equation. So I hope these steps are absolutely clear. So let's uh, summarize these steps. One, we did a substitution of x mi 1 over x minus 1 as a and 1 over y minus 2 as b, since in both the equations, those were our denominators, right? So we got a linear set of equations. We eliminated b by multiplying the first equation by 3, found the value of a, substitute the value of a in the second equation, modified equivalent second equation, found the value of b. Then once we got a and b, we got the values of x and y by reversing the substitution. And so we can actually now solve these equations using system of linear equations. So I hope you find this strategy useful. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.